Hello, this is the second video of a series on pump packing installation. In this video, we're going to look at what to measure to make sure we get the correct size packing installed into the pump. There are four critical dimensions that are needed to determine the right packing size and arrangement. They are the shaft size or sleeve if there's one over the shaft, the stuffing box ID, the stuffing box depth, and the lantern location inside the stuffing box. The shaft slash sleeve size is one of the easiest to measure because it can be done quite accurately by using only a vernier. Some things to look for is making sure there is no step in the shaft or if there is any damage on the sleeve. The stuffing box ID is not so easy to measure since it is hard to get into the stuffing box and get a good measurement of the opening. Using tools like an inside-outside caliper can help. One trick is to machine down the end so they can squeeze into the small opening. Another way to measure it is to measure the OD of the gland nose and use feeler gauges to get in between the gaps. This is not the best way, but for small openings, it is as accurate as it can get without totally dismantling the pump. To measure the depth, the best way is a simple six inch flexible scale that can be inserted into the stuffing box. It is always a good idea to get a few measurements. For example, taking multiple measurements of the stuffing box depth can make sure there is not something in the bottom of the box that could really affect the packing's effectiveness of sealing. One measurement that can often be overlooked is locating where the lantern ring comes into the stuffing box. A poor way to do this is just to measure the outside port and think that the lantern ring goes perpendicular to the stuffing box. This is not often the case. The best way to measure the distance is by taking a welding rod and inserting it into the lantern ring port on the pump. Sometimes the lantern ring is angled. This would mean you will need to find where it enters the stuffing box from the inside. The next step is to calculate the cross section of the packing from the actual dimensions of the pump. The formula for this is simple. Just take the stuffing box ID and subtract the shaft slash sleeve size and divide by two. Now you should check to see if that cross section fits a nominal size of packing. It could be either imperial or metric. This is very important since just guessing or using the cross section of the ring before, you could have the wrong size selected resulting in inaccurate sealing. The next important step is to inspect the gland and the bottom of the box and see what type of clearances the pump has. Wide gaps will make it hard for packing to create a seal over time since the packing will extrude into these gaps, losing critical gland forces and resulting in uncontrollable leakage. To find these gaps on the gland is relatively easy. Measure the OD of the gland and measure any gaps between it and the pump OD. Now on the ID of the gland, measure the gaps at 90 degree intervals, like 12, 3, 6, and 9, like on a clock face. From this, we can tell how centered the shaft is inside the stuffing box. The bottom clearances are harder to measure. A boroscope will help show the bottom gap pretty well. The rings are still the best way to see if we have an extrusion issue at the bottom of the box, as we mentioned in the first video. It is just so hard to look and actually measure down there. Well, that's the end of the second video of our series. Hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to get a hold of me and my team.